We all hopefully saw this graph as a part of our physics lessons on the topic of radioactivity. Like seriously, this is required in Germany. If not, very sad. Anyways, many science enthusiasts are aware of the short range of alpha radiation. This is good from a health perspective, as alpha radiation can indeed cause damage, but at the same time an alpha emitter would have to be inhaled or ingested for this biologically destructive power of alpha radiation to take effect. So I wanted to check this short range of alpha radiation. For this we need an alpha emitter. For this purpose the plutonium 239 calibration standard is used which I made a complete video about. In short it has 867 becquerels of 5.1 mega electron volt alphas. This measuring device is set up to measure alpha, beta and gamma radiation but automatically subtracts the background. Without any shielding, 100 impulses per second of alpha are measured at this distance. My goal here is not about how much I can measure, but if I can measure anything at all. Therefore I do not normalize the distance to the sample. Here I now have attached some gold paper as best as I possibly can over a frame. Gold is known to have a higher density than lead and therefore should shield radiation better, especially alpha radiation. Well gold paper is also very thin. Okay, but no one uses gold paper to shield for alpha radiation. It also apparently brings absolutely little effect. How about a tissue or better some cosmetic tissues? They are thin too and indeed the alpha radiation is not completely shielded by the tissue. But when folded twice nothing reaches the detector even on full contact. And of course the mandatory sheet of paper, yep it shields alpha radiation. So alpha radiation, two protons and two neutrons, a fully ionized helium atom. And helium as the smallest noble gas actually doesn't want to be ionized or to become ionized. Now that we've talked about very thin materials and seen that gold leaf does not completely shield alphas, neither does a cosmetic tissue, but paper does. So how thin is Thin in this case. The gold leaf used here was 23 carat rose gold leaf, so with a little copper and plain gold leaf has a thickness of 100 nanometers. For comparison the paper used had a thickness of 150 micrometers, so 150,000 nanometers. I couldn't find any information for this cosmetic tissue. Ah, uh, that's all good, but now offer us some value Simon. How do I determine the range of alpha radiation in different media based on their energy. High energy alphas should travel further, right? I will address the range of other types of radiation in separate videos in the future. Alpha radiation has the shortest range. The range of alpha particles in air can be simulated based on their energy. For this we will make use of the SRIM program. This is a program from 2013 and was originally intended to determine the behavior of particle radiation in targets. However we can adjust our projectile to be helium, set the energy range to 5100 kilo electron volts plutonium alphas and now we have our target, in this case gold and then another target, air, simplified as gaseous nitrogen. After all air is 75% nitrogen. Now for storytelling let's start with 0 millimeters of gold and 50 millimeters so 5 centimeters of air. And here we can see the movement of alpha particles in air. It is mostly straight. Some of them are slightly deflected because they are charged particles and air also consists of atoms which themselves contain charge carriers, electrons and positive nucleons. And look, occasionally there are some outliers. This happens when an alpha particle actually collides with another atomic nucleus and then gets scattered. This happens very rarely because the nuclides are absurdly small compared to the entire atom and especially in gases where the mostly empty atoms are far apart from each other. So now let's place a 1 micrometer thick gold foil over our alpha source. 1 micrometer is 10 times thicker than the gold foil used in the experiment. You can already see much more scattering because the alphas would have to fly through the very dense gold foil and there are so many more electrons and highly charged nucleides that can deflect the alphas from a straight flight path. And if you haven't noticed yet, this is how far the alphas got without the gold foil and with one micrometer of gold we are now here. No longer at 3.5 centimeters but at 3 centimeters. 
Okay, five micrometers of gold? Well, that's a change. Much more scattering and now the alphas have a range of only 1.5 centimeters. And we have many more of these outliers, which also makes sense because we have more atomic nuclei per volume. What about seven micrometers? As expected. Yeah, at 10 micrometers, nothing comes through. Of course, you are wondering, how does not only the layer thickness, but the energy affect the range? Here again, 5.1 mega electron volts, only in nitrogen. Now let's try 6 mega electron volts. And they go much further, no longer 3.5 centimeters, but 4.5 centimeters. And at 7 mega electron volts, the particles go even further than 5 centimeters. But I wanted to keep the x axis, which the distance is plotted the same way for better comparability. Isn't this a funny program? In summary, alpha radiation is highly ionizing with a short range. A 100 nanometer thick layer of gold leaf cannot shield plutonium 239 alphas, but a sheet of paper can. At least so that our measuring device can no longer distinguish them from the background. The range can be simulated in SRIM and it it can be seen that the material, its thickness and the energy of the alphas are factors influencing the range of alpha radiation. If you want me to play around a bit more with the program, feel free to write in the comments. But if it means, hey, shoot titanium projectiles at uranium targets, there won't be a practical part beforehand, okay? A special thanks goes to the Working Group of Analytics and Fundamental Nuclear Chemistry from Dr. Erik Strupp and the Division of Nuclear Chemistry at the University of Cologne and to my Patreons. With that being said, goodbye.